Cancer kills more than half a million Americans every year. But there's hope tonight that an experimental new treatment could bring those numbers down. The idea is to train the body's immune system to fight the disease, and if it works, it might be a way to prevent it. Dr. John LaPook now with a woman who's getting the new treatment. John, you said you want a coffee? Please. You want coffee? Four months ago, 47-year-old Karen Gentile was diagnosed with breast cancer. This Pennsylvania mother of two faced the biggest decision of her life, whether to delay surgery and try an experimental vaccine. You wish you had a crystal ball to figure out the best route to go so that you don't have a recurrence. My husband kept saying, if you don't do this, you're cutting yourself short. Yeah, I have to go down to the hospital, so. Gentile had an early form of breast cancer called DCIS. DCIS is confined to the milk ducts, but her type is aggressive and likely to recur. The therapy could lead to a cure, but signing the consent form with its list of risks scared her. I just kept thinking, you know, what if something bad happens down the road? All those emotions and those thoughts were going through my mind for many weeks as I was trying to decide, you know, what to do. Gentile is one of the first women in the world to get a DCIS breast cancer vaccine. Her husband, John, joined her when she went for the painful shots. Her hope? The vaccine may not only treat cancer, but one day stop it from occurring in the first place. When you think about your daughters, right. do you think that maybe this vaccine will help them, specifically them? I hope so. I hope it does come to that, that this, there's a vaccine that, you know, people can be vaccinated against, uh, you know, breast cancer, and they'll never have to, you know, hopefully make some of these decisions. Here's the theory. The immune system often doesn't attack deadly cancer cells because they look so similar to normal tissue. They're basically invisible. To make the vaccine, white blood cells are taken from a patient and engineered to recognize breast cancer proteins. Once injected into the patient, these cells help the immune system identify and attack the tumor. It may change the way we think about and treat DCIS. University of Pennsylvania researcher Dr. Brian Zernicki is leading this first ever DCIS vaccine study. When you first looked under the microscope and saw that the immune system was actually destroying those cancer cells, what, what did that seem like to you? It's one of those ah moments where you look at it and you say, wow, this is really doing what we thought it was going to do. The hope is to teach the immune system to stand guard against a recurrence. Well, in a way, these immune cells act as watchdogs? They're watchdogs for the body, and they will protect anywhere they see a problem with the cancer proteins coming back. Next month, Karen Gentile will have the standard breast cancer surgery she postponed and will find out if the vaccine is starting to work. She has no regrets about taking some risk for a dream. That I am cancer free and um, I won't have a reoccurrence and have to deal with this ever again. We need to temper this by saying we've seen a good number of cancer vaccine failures, but the hope is using these vaccines a lot earlier will lead to more successful results. Now more than 200 cancer vaccine trials are underway in brain, lung, and pancreatic cancers, those, Scott, that have been the hardest to treat. John, thank you very much.